Hey everybody, this is Lorraine from the Sacred Alchemist 1111. I hope that each and every one of you guys are not doing too bad. I'm going to be doing a reading. Um, I was sort of, um, I got this download from Spirit that was asking about, um, it's quite, it's quite important. Um, I mean, it's nothing major, it's nothing bad. This is for the Divine Feminine. And what Spirit was saying was that they want to know, over the last year, how do you see yourself? I'm not talking about it for what other people think of you or their opinions of you, because quite frankly, it's not got anything to do with you. It's just about how you view yourself today, since the past year. It hasn't said anything about in the past, in the past, in the past previous to 2020 but it just was saying about the time scale from 2020 you know sort of like up to now as we are heading out um, of 2021 all right so what I'm going to say is this is a general reading so please don't get discouraged or disappointed if whatever's mentioned here does not fit in with your situation you just really just take what resonates from here if nothing resonates with you whatsoever in this reading, whatever's going to be pulled up, just don't worry about it. Just keep on moving, okay? And when I said that, when I did feel that earlier, um, I was drawn to that song by Soul to Soul, um, Keep On Moving, all right? I'm a bit old school, so sometimes, you know, it, it happens where I get these old school songs that just pop into my head and, you know, there's a message in there for somebody. Maybe one of you guys used to love off that song as much as I did as well, is to play it to death, all right? So, um, basically, it's just about the progress. So, you can, you know, you can take notes if you want, or if you have been taking notes, if you have, that's beautiful, and that's amazing, that's sensible. Um, for others of you, if you haven't, don't worry about it, you can always do it, or, you know, jot down anything at any time, all right? So, before I get stuck, and I just, as always, like to express my gratitude and thanks and humbleness, to everybody who has been watching the readings, liking and sharing, subscribing to the channel as well, your emails, your donations to the channel, and also to the newcomers that's been coming on to my Facebook page as well. You can always check that out there. It is private and you have to answer all the questions um, or else you won't be able to get into the group, all right? So it's only just recently been started, so it's very, very fresh. But do check it out and, you know, let's connect in another way, um, as you know, besides YouTube as well, okay? So without further ado, guys, I'm going to get stuck into the reading. So this is a very specific question about you. This has nothing to do with your divine masculine, your friends, family, anything. It's just about you. How do you see yourself, Okay. Now, saying that, if there is somebody that I do feel that is external from yourself, it might pop into the reading. But I'm trying to see if I can just harness and just put the reading and whatever the cards say, you know, about you and how you view yourself. All right. So how do you view yourself, Divine Feminine? So first and foremost, I'm going to start off with the healing mantra. All right. The healing mantra. This is a two sided deck. So, um. Yeah, so, yeah, we're just going to go with a couple of cards. How uh, you see yourself right now. Balancing the brain. All right, balancing the brain. And we have got illuminating the truth. Mm -mm -mm. Illuminating the truth and balancing the brain. For some of you, if you found something out that illuminated you and it, you, became, you became very aware, you had to sort of balance yourself out because I feel that for some of you guys, it was hard to believe what you was actually hearing or what you was learning, all right? Um, however, it has empowered you all the same. I will pull another card in a sec. We have got, I am willing to see things clearly no matter the outcome. I am willing to see things clearly no matter the outcome. And then we do have... I can be and do all at once. I can be and do all at once. So this is about being physically, emotionally and spiritually ambidextrous. All right. You know how how sometimes we have to be in, you know, especially the way how, you know, you've got to work, um, you know, work and then you've got your home life as well. You might have children, family members that you've got to look after as well. So you're sort of like doing everything all at once. All right. The next card that we have got is liberating love. 
unconditional love open your heart um chakras to allow the love to come in all right and we have got i allow myself to receive all the fulfillment i am willing to give all right so you are just really just really discovering your worth and knowing who you are and we have got underneath the bottom of the deck grounding my energy grounding my energy for go for you guys who haven't been doing that my lovelies this is a really um important thing um for you to do but i feel that for some of you this is how you know what you've been doing over the past year so this is about illumination balancing out yourself and liberating your love getting into um unconditional love and getting grounded so yeah someone's putting in the work and we have got, it is safe to be in my body. So this is real and truly being about acceptance. So if you were feeling a little bit, you know, um, all right. So for some of us who might have piled on a few, many two pounds since we've been in such sort of like, you know, incarceration, I'm using that in inverted commas, comments. Oh God, you know what I mean? And, you know, inverted commas, um, or quotations, whatever it is right now. I'm I'm so I'm trying to get into this reading, guys. I do apologize. Um, you know, you, you you're just about getting into your comfortability. Not saying your comfort zone, but getting into the comfortability of being you. All right. So I feel that for some of you guys, yeah, you love your body, you love who you are, you'll, you know, it's a temple, so you're starting to worship your, you know, worship your your temple. Um look after your body some of you could have been saying right i'm going to lose weight i'm going to start to you know really start to go back to the gym i'm going to start looking after myself i'm going to start going to, for long walks because i feel that this is now the time of where you got your time back i got me back even though whatever happened to you you got you when everyone left you whatever you got you so i feel that there's that feeling of like you you knew deep down inside that you needed to get grounded so that the grounding, being grounded, will will enable you to be able to be... Oh, my God. What did I say? Guys, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let me start again. Sorry. So when you were grounded, this would have been able to allow you to become more liberated with your love, i.e. unconditional love, to be able to become more balanced within yourself, balancing out the, the negative and the positive within yourself, and then becoming more illuminated, Becoming more enlightened. So these are like really, really amazing qualities. Okay. So that's for that. Um, I do have actually a spirit animal. Um, I feel that. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say to you. Um, now, this feels that this is quite specific. So please take this as if it resonates with you. If it doesn't, doesn't work. It doesn't matter. But I was hearing that somebody... Somebody went and gave a friend advice. Now, you were doing the right thing. You was being very helpful, but unfortunately, it seems to have backfired. The person felt a bit, I don't know, like... I'm getting... I'm, I'm hearing insulted, but I don't feel that's the word. But if that was the word, I feel that is how they really felt. But it what it's saying it's not what they said to you. Deep down inside... Um, they were insulted, but they told you something different. Spirit is saying that they need to go through their life lesson. It's their karma. Don't get involved in it. Um, I feel that you were trying to prevent somebody from making it a really dodgy decision, um, which they sort of like, you know, said, oh, yeah, I'm good, or whatever the case may be. Uh, oh, no, you don't need to tell me that. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah, I know already. I know, I know, I know. But, I, but what I'm picking up is that they were insulted. Because it was the fact that it came from you. But Spirit is saying that they are going to get into their karma. They have to learn. They have to go through that. All right. So that's for somebody specifically. Let's get into your spirit animals. See what kind of messages that um, spirit animal has to say for you. We've been guided all the time. Wow. I love this. We have got swan, grace, appreciate the beauty inside and all around you. All right. So remember what I said about your body. Okay. Accepting the new and improved you. We've got dove, sincerity, slow down, pause and breathe so that you can get grounded in your gorgeous energy. 
Okay, this is sacred energy, yo. And we've got snake healing. You are a healer. It's giving me the Kundalini vibes as well. All right, I'm sorry, guys, if um, any of you are, if you don't like snakes, um, some of you, um, I don't know why, but somebody doesn't really like the look of snakes, but um, that's why I just had to put it to that side. Um, for some of you guys, I mean, you are natural healers anyway, okay? Um, and I, I, I sense that this is part of you getting into your soul mission. Um, so knowing then that you need to pause and breathe because what, what you have gone through, you are going to be able to inspire and teach others. And I feel that people will be coming to you. People will be coming to you. And I feel that you. this is where you need to get very, very grounded because I feel that somebody, um, you're going to get people that's coming to you. And it's going to overwhelm you. And Spirit's saying that you need to stay grounded and not to carry too much burdens, not to carry too much energy. Slow down, pause, breathe. Appreciate the beauty within and um, inside and all around you. But you're a healer as well. So um, I could be talking to somebody who is um, a life coach. Um, you are um, a professional sort of um, psychologist, psychiatrist. Um, somebody who's like a counsellor as well. But because of this, because you're here, you're watching this reading, you're definitely all about your spirituality. And I feel that you're trying to amalgamate the two so that it fits in with your new life. Okay, really taking a real um, hard look at your life and what you want to do for your spiritual business. Um, but it's all about being grounded first, my love. And the card at the bottom of the deck is the cougar. Wow, confidence. Be bold and take charge cougar vibes y'all so please do check out these um four so we've got the snake healing we've got the swan grace we've got the dove serenity and we've got the cougar confidence your glow up you've been getting grounded enough so this is definitely going to be boosting your confidence if you've been working on yourself um you have been definitely you're going to be seeing the difference and this is why people are going to be coming towards you much more like in practically in their droves because they're attracted to you not just your physical appearance but your vibration that is definitely lifting it up okay um there some of you um i'm picking up about the shadow work so i am going to pull a couple of cards on the shadow work side um with regards to what you you know what you would have been experiencing because i do sense um a tower moment has happened you've got another enlightened um awakening um so this segment will be for those who have been you know who you are if you have been you know going through an awakening how do you see yourself during the awakening all right so um, your tower moment so what's been going on there the areas of your life that you've been trying to work on so we have got connection so i feel that you know, even though you was have been trying to get connected with certain people, um, I feel that mm -mm -mm, it's telling me about life lessons, like a lesson learned. Okay, I'm hearing be careful of the connection that you keep. Be aware of the connection that you keep or connections that you keep. So for some of you guys, it's kind of got you a bit standoffish or sort of like learning through that. I feel that that was part of you that if you were too given, my beautiful, then, you know, you certainly were going to get burned and taken advantage of. So the connection that you've got with people, how you see yourself and you've changed, obviously, the way how you're connecting with people now, you're going to be becoming more discerning. The next card that we have got is sadness. Yeah, it will feel sad. I mean, floods of tears. To wipe away those fears, to wash out those fears. Tears for fears. Oh, that's like that song, isn't it? It's that group, isn't it? Tears for fears. Everybody wants to rule the world. And I feel what's been going on in the world and with people as well has made you feel sad. That's the empathy in you. It's the empath in you. But the thing is, you know that they, they have to go through what they need to go through. But it's still sad all the same next card for you it's also i feel that you got you got a little bit of sadness as well for yourself um i'm not saying that you're sort of like as you know, not to say that this is like the, you know the party people thing because girl if you've got to cry you've got to cry 
All right, you've got to let it out some way, somehow. If you've been really working on sort of like doing your shadow work and there's moments and days where you've, you know, got to cry, maybe you ask yourself, damn, when was the last time I cried? I kind of remember, but I feel good for it. I might have a little bit of a headache, but I feel a bit more liberated, okay? So liberating again, crying through the broken heart in order to liberate this love of yours. That's beautiful. And we've got metamorphosis. Absolutely, you're going through your change. For some of you, it could be the menstrual, you know, the, that time of the month. No disrespect, and I don't mean, please forgive me, all right? But because I picked up on Cougar, I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. I did think of like an older woman that is like, you know, like the, you know, the sexy um, older woman that still look damn good. And you're like, and you're rocking in your 50s, 60s, and you still got it going on, all right? And then obviously with the metamorphosis, I did pick up on like, you know, probably going through that, that time, all right? that time i don't mean to be disrespectful okay but it just um the spirit wanted me to point that out you, you know sometimes when you're doing messages and you know sometimes it's a bit uncomfortable <laughs> to say the least and I'm trying to say it in a nice you know respectful way i've got rage mm. some of you could certainly be going through the um that's why you, you have to be gentle with yourself um with the rage and the frustration as well that you have would have been feeling over the years. So having to deal with that as well and not allowing anybody to fuck with your inner peace. Not allowing anybody to do that to you guys, all right? Because you're trying to really get into that balance. You want to be full of love. You don't want to be full of hatred and people bringing out the worst in you. I feel that you had people that was bringing out the worst in you, like you were some demon beast, Okay. And that's not right. That You know, again, I mean, it's, it's it's that violation. But this time, you know, I feel that you're kind of addressing certain issues where rage and anger is concerned. So probably doing a bit of anger management, maybe. Okay, so you're working on yourself. You're working. Um, let's have a look at the soul's journey. Lesson cards. Lessons oracle. See what we've got going on. Thank you so much, Spirit. In the last year align what has the divine feminine been working on purpose i know what i am here to do boom nice one divine feminine you now know your worth and you know what you're here to do so some of you could have just been like tapping in with your soul missions and you know exactly what it is that you came here to do all right and this is what you're working on so for the last year um you've really been working on this this life purpose which is fantastic okay and we've got adversity yeah I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Life lessons. Knowing to stay away from people who are going to suck your energy away. Okay? To make sure that you are in low vibration. It's like, bitch, don't put the fear in me. Because I'll put the fear in God in you. Don't do it. Don't try to put any kind of fear tactics, bullshit, reverse psychology crap on me. Because I'll put the fear in God in you. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll put the fear of God in you. Don't do it. Don't try me. Don't test me. You know, and I feel that for some of you guys, it's like you need to, again, be by yourself, be, be alone, just so that you can just stay in peace. And I do feel as well, um, for some of you, it could even be the feeling that you felt from somebody, if that is your situation, where the person that you was trying to help um, sort of like backlashed you, all right? We've got acceptance and discipline. Accepting the things that you cannot change. It reminds me of that serenity prayer. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change, okay? So again, this is about the, the, the first steps of detachment. For some of you as well, this is about you detaching from last year and up to this year, how much you have progressed in. And disciplining yourself. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So knowing that you are not going to be tempted to try and, you know, do the whole... Um, spying thing you know on your dm you know really trying to cut off from all of that i'm determined this time to focus on me i'm doing me i'm not going to be tempted to reach out i'm not going to send no message i'm not even going to look at their social media i need to focus on me because my energy is my currency and it's too valuable to be going to be expunging it on well you know not expunging it sorry um you know spilling spilling out the, the 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 currency on foolishness but especially when you're not going to get no return out of it okay you what you have to what you're giving out 
is that you've got to get that in return because this is this infinity kind of symbol energy, okay? Give and receive, give and take. We have got peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. All right? You want to live in peace. As I was just telling you. Okay? The next card that we have got is imagination. And I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Someone's been really getting busy with their manifestations. Really knowing that you can tap into imagination. If you were somebody that was being told as a child, oh, it's always in his imagination. Or she's always in her imagination. Oh, get out of your head when it comes to that. No, sometimes you need to stay in there because you are manifesting your re dreams into reality. So you need to plan things out. Plan things out in your head first before writing it down on paper. You know, I, I just see somebody who's very methodical. All right, putting emotions and that to one side. All right, you cried for about two months out of the year. Now, with the rest of the 10 months, this is, this is about getting your shit together. Okay, the next card that we've got is patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. This is like a typical divine feminine that a divine feminine would say. Everything happens in divine order or divine timing would be the other word as well. Divine timing or divine order. Knowing that you've got the patience because you know deep down inside of yourself that you need to be working on yourself in order to bring about the union. All right, so that's where you needed to close off. I get you. We've got growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. And this is what you will do in Divine Feminine, okay? The card at the bottom of the deck is humour. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life, not this, okay? The lighter side of life. Look at the Laughing Buddha. Um, for some of you guys, um, you do have a Buddha and this is giving you the comfort and the blessings that you need on a day-to-day -day basis. Very Zen energy, meditation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we're gonna start. We're gonna step into your work, your light. So what has the divine feminine? How does they see themselves over the past year? Yeah, look at that. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Yes, yes, yes. Divine feminine, trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty. You know, self-explanatory. You've been doing all of this, all right? This is what you've been doing. You've been letting go, letting go and trusting, letting go and let God in. How the, you see that? I wasn't even using that deck. There's a, this, okay, this is quite important. This is um, for my sacred destiny deck that I am not using. So this card, um, this is important for you guys. I didn't notice that. Okay, what is this? Please, it'd be good. Abundance. Abundance. Divine for Empress. Empress energy. I'm just picking up on Major Arcana, the Empress. All right? Abundance. Business and finance. Really getting in, in, in. This is really a positive. Well, you know, if this is you, damn, this is amazing. Aligning your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Seriously, you have been really going in to making sure that you are, you know, cutting out all the bad things, cutting out bad habits. If you've been eating wrong, if you've been eating meat, you want to stay on fish. That's what you're doing. You're reducing your alcohol, you know, drinking more water, getting away from toxic people. All right, your friend may have, you know, from, from way back in the day that you knew this person, you and them are growing apart and you've accepted that split. You've accepted it because you know that, you, you know, that sometimes it's not even about the fact that they are, that they're not serving your highest purpose. But sometimes it's that you are not serving their highest purpose because why? Sometimes it's the fact that they're not doing the work for themselves. So they haven't even tapped into their higher self. So you wouldn't really be servicing them in that way um, because they haven't, they're not aligned. They're not tapped into their higher self in order to get onto that vibration with you, all right? And that's why you have to leave that person alone. And, and, and another thing what I was picking up is that they have to go through their karma. Next card that we have got is answering the call. Mm-hmm. What is your call? So, call what? I, oh my God, this is so... <laughs> oh, okay, I got something wrong with my mouth. 
Okay, we've got answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? You've answered the call, guys. And this is why all of this is taking place. You have literally been detaching yourself. You've been putting in the work over the past 12 months to find feminine. This is what you've been doing. Your shadow work, cutting out bullshit, focusing on yourself, um, eating healthy, exercising, swimming. I'm hearing swimming, somebody likes swimming a lot or you haven't swum in a long time, but you're getting back into the swimming because you want your body to be healthy, you know, and aligned because you're, you're focused on your lungs. Some of you suffer with, uh, someone suffers with asthma. This is why. Mm. Okay. And we've got warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling again? If you did, if you, it may have come at you early on in the year when you were going through your sadness, but it's now a stronger calling. If you notice the way I have the two cards, this one seems to be a bit like you weren't really paying, can you see guys, that you weren't really paying attention for the first call. and But then this time, this calling is like much more stronger, you're in a much more stronger position. So you've done a real, uh, you know, a hell of a lot of growth, soul growth um, in this past year alone. So you're really going to be, you're, you're just, oh crap, what was that? Oh. Sorry guys, it was just one of my um, crystals that fell down. I'll get it in a sec. Um, so you are literally prepared. You're, you're one of those people um, who are prepared. All right. And you're, you're ready. No fear. Because you don't do that, all right? You've had a very, um, you know, uh, you know, a really sort of dodgy time, unfortunately, you know. And this is where you're like, no, never again. This is discipline. This is somebody who's into heavy discipline. You know, this time around, it's going to be different. This time around, it's going to be better. And I fucking mean it this time. I mean it. I'm not doing that again. I'm not going to go through none of that crap again. You can't fool me again. All right? So if it's like that thing of like, fool me once, shame on me. Sorry, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You're somebody that don't do the three strikes and you're out. If it's just the one time or the second time, uh-uh, no more. That's it. All right? Right. Okay, let's go with the... Starseed Oracle. Spirit, what's been going on with the Divine Feminine in the last 12 months? How does the Divine Feminine see themselves? You see yourself as a, uh, as a warrior, a light warrior, as well as a light worker as well. Um, it's amazing. We've got weight. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. This is where the patience is coming in as well. Because you know fully well that, you know, again, I feel that you had to go through your shadow work whilst you're whilst you're no for you, some of you guys your blessings are already there but you needed to be ready in order to receive them it was you that needed to um be developed this time all right the blessings are already there waiting for you um you know but you needed to be work you needed more work um within yourself that's what i'm hearing from spirit we've got the lost lands soul memories and gifts you've done this before so i feel that there was certainly some form of um remembrance um i feel that this is why the the, the time that you didn't answer the call be again sorry before oh my god this is um this communication from mercury retrograde so before um i don't feel that you were ready yet because you wasn't yet developed enough all right so this seems to be a card that is in between this answering the call and the warrior woman you know, have you answered your deepest calling? And this is where you're really going in. And it's really giving me this kind of shadow work energy as well. Um, really about past life energies that are coming through to help you this time around. Okay. And we have got Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety and Trust. So... Um, if you have been um, really attached or if you are one who is attached to Egyptian, um, ancient Egypt, um, you know, then you would definitely have this. Or you may even, I'm hearing that somebody has Egyptian in them as well. Um, okay, there's something about, someone has um, something about their bloodline. Okay. 
like royal royal bloodline okay sorry guys if you can hear all of that stupid blasted motorbikes they're getting on my damn nerves honestly i'm so sorry if you can hear it through the phone honestly okay fall into my arms surrender holding the opposites extremes of life yeah you've definitely surrendered you've definitely surrendered and i just feel that there's just like it just seems to me that there's so many of these souls i see this can you see her yeah you can see the picture it's all of this just reminds me of the soul family that like this in the spirit world you are somebody who's so spiritual you've connected to the spirit world in such a way that you need to be really immersed in some form of water this is it's giving me some form of baptism and i can see like elders as well on the other side um at the top i don't know if you can see this card very well but there's two faces here it's really giving me some kind of balance and energy and this just seems like this is source it's light this is source so all of the, you know, the angels, the archangels, every, all the celestial beings is around you. Somebody's very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Really, really divinely protected. Very, very divinely protected. And the card at the bottom of the deck is loosen your grip, coping mechanism, density, addiction, let God in. Yeah, let go and let God in. You've really, really been coming from... You know, a, a, a very, I'm hearing a strange place. It's been kind of strange, hasn't it? It feels kind of strange. Even the atmosphere, I keep saying it before, like the atmosphere just feels different. The, the outside looks different, okay? Even noise like that with that damn bike, it, like you just don't, like it just doesn't even resonate with you anymore. Like it just annoys and rattles your frequency, rattles your vibration. When you see people that are just so, like the lost souls, like you're just like, my God, I'm so, like, I just need to be like in my own cocoon right now. And how you see yourself, you see yourself that you are not like them, period. Period, period. You are not like them at all, at all, at all. No. You're something else. You're somebody else. You're different. You know why you're different? Because you're going back to who you originally are. Going back to being an, an original, all right? Not no clone, sheeple kind of bullshit business. You're going back to being an original. It doesn't matter about where you come from. I, I don't care about the color of your skin. It really doesn't matter about all of that because once your spirit has, once you transition and you go back to source, you go back like, you know, we are all of this, okay? We are infinite energies, Okay, created by the Most High. So irrespective as to what colour we are, wherever we are located in this world, we are all brothers and sisters. We're all one. All right? But some of us have really, really and truly forgotten who the hell we really are. And you know something, honeys, there's nothing you can do about for them. Nothing you can do for them. Some of them done some real fucked up shit and they have to pay for it. And I feel that this is why, again, I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm sort of talking about that is because I feel that for some of you guys... Um, not all, but for some, for that specific number of you, um, about the friend, it's like, you, you know, that's that person, you know, you tried to open them eyes up and everything. Again, if they're not ready for any of that, they never will be. And sometimes some people don't like the kind of pressure or feel feeling pressured or, you know, kind of like, oh, who are you to tell me anything? Like, look, like, as if your life is any fucking, you know, is perfect and all that. None of us are fucking perfect. None of us are. Sorry for swearing, guys. Oh, my God, I'm trying to stop that. None of us are perfect. We're all, we've all gone through so much ungodly stuff in our, in our time. All right? And some of it was downright evil. But you know something? It, that was in the past, but this is now. But you woke up. And you have done, whoever you are, in, in, in a short space of time, not even a good year, a full, full year's gone by, because we're still, like, rocking in October. But you've done so much already. And it, it, it's like, like, what you have achieved in in 10 months, up from 2020 up until now. Oh, sorry, I'm talking about 12 months. Sorry, guys. You know when you just don't even... <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay. So, yeah, well, from since last year up until this year. Okay, but we're going into like the full year. All right. Guys, my brain. It's as if like, um, 
you know, for the past 19, 20 months now, it's, you've just taken on so much. You've taken on so much. You're not going into anything else um, from, you know, from way back or whatever. You know, you've just really decided that now is the time for you to change. And you've done it all. You've done everything. You've done everything that you should have done even way before that, even before 2020. I just feel that 2020 is, it was like, it wasn't even a time. It was like a doorway that we just walked through because we answered that call and we never went back. And people are still stuck in 2019 because they've still got the 2019 mentality. They don't understand what the hell's really going on in 2020 and 2021. Some of them are still on that 2019 shit and even before all of that. But things are changing. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. You know what's happening. You know how to tap into your power. You know how to make magic happen. You know how to make shit happen. And this is what's going on with you. It's amazing. All right, so let's tap into your tarot. So what's happening with the since 2020, beginning of 2020, or say from October 2020 to now, last 12 months, or even beginning of the year, as I said, whatever, man, 2020, yeah? We have got the Page of Cups in the reverse or the Princess of Cups in the reverse. So I feel that for some of you guys, you're not interested in the drama. It's made you grow up quite fast, all right? Um, for some of you, this is telling me about the fact that you, you know, it's kind of like rattled your creativity a little bit because obviously you now need to figure out a little bit more about who you are and what you can do, um, which is which is fine, which is okay. You know, it, you, listen, it's about you live and you learn, all right? You live and you learn, all right? So um, for some of you guys, it's like, yeah, I need to get more creative again. Whatever, ha what happened in that time, that timeline, has now got me where I can now focus more on my creativity. So new things that's coming in, all right? So it's all about the newness at the end of the day. But you need to be working on that a little bit more. For some of you guys as well, you're really trying to enhance ways um, and expand ways of your business as well, all right? Some of you are looking to really open up and expand on your business, really, really picking up on business. So it could be to do with your labels. It could be to do with your packaging. It could be to do with your website. Something needs to be changing. You're tweaking, tweaking here, there, like flipping things around, really flipping things around, um, which shape it looks nice in, or even sort of lightening or darkening the colors. I just see you really getting into, um, if it's to do with colors, because I'm really picking up on colors. Um, you need to sort of folk, get that book. There's a book or you can um, order it online or see if there's an ebook of it, if that helps you. That talks about like the different colors and what they actually represent with regards to emotional, um, you know, like, like, you know, buying things um, like to attract buyers as well, psychologically. Um, there's ways that you can do that. And also, if it fits in well with your package, with your products as well, all right? If it fits in also with your philosophy, with your objectives, your missions as well, okay? And your philosophy in life, if it fits well with you. So there's a lot of things that I feel that you're just really, somebody's really, really just going over and over and over and over again with certain, you know, um, ideas. Ideas. Okay. So we have got the Eight of Wands. This is swiftness. So I feel that things will, I feel that since you've broken away, things are going to become more, more and more sort of like, um, you're going to be able to manifest more. So things, ideas are going to come to you much more quicker. All right. Um, so that's kind of like a good thing within itself. With the three of swords in the reverse, this is about overcoming heartbreak, dealing with your heartbreak and your disappointments. Do you remember what I said to you as well? Not, don't be disappointed or discouraged. It's also for if you are going through a situation right now with your creativity, if you feel that you've got writer's block or you feel that you're not able to make the money coming in because you've got the ace of pentacles in the reverse, you just need to take the time, have patience, all right? Because I feel that this is really where you guys are really stepping into. We've got the um, 
so guys what the eight of swords so i feel that you're in your head at the moment um maybe a quite too much because the reason why i chose this deck is that somebody is as busy as a bee and this this um this let me show you the box it's called journey of the sacred bee all right so i do feel that somebody is really 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 busy really busy busy as a bee really trying to just keep themselves um you know just really just trying to focus on their coins you cut you got the eight of wands you've got the eight of swords but you want to try and get into that the eight of pentacles that you're really and truly working on yourself okay we've got the eight of cups so this is about walking away from things that are no longer serving you and also walking away from things that are not working out in your business because you've got to be making that money. And I don't really like to talk about money in that kind of way. Because, you know, we know that it's not really, you know, spiritual people don't really like to kind of talk about money like that. But we, this is a this is about being real. Okay, you're living in a real sort of like world, as real as it can get, this simulation. And you're going to need to have that kind of currency in order to make your dreams come true. In order to, to make things happen. If you want to buy a house, it's going to cost money and not shirt buttons or magic beans from Jack and the Beanstalk. OK, this is about real hard work that you are going to need to put in. So if you're all about manifesting and getting your your craft right and everything like that, doing a lot more practice. If it didn't work out from the previous ritual that you've done or the previous spell that you've done, try again, try something different. Figure out what it is that is working for you from what isn't working for you and walk away knowing when it's time to walk away from it, from things that are not really serving you. Right now, for four of cups, you don't have time for anybody. You are not interested in anybody right now okay um i feel that you are certainly emotionally more mature because you know your worth and i'm loving the fact that the four of cups and the king of cups are together because this is telling me somebody about somebody who is really and truly about um self-improvement this time okay and and making sure that you are trying to put all of your energies into you know, your your products, your business. Somebody's really, really getting into a business because I'm picking up like, for you, you're saying, well, if I'm the customer, would I buy from me? Would I buy that? Would I buy that or would I not buy that? And if I'm not going to buy it, why am I not going to buy it? Why not? What are the reasons? Somebody's really been extremely, extremely methodical. This is why the Eight of Swords is there where you're in your head a lot. But again, it's saying, you know, the answers will come to you, but, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. Just be gentle. We've got the Queen of Cups. So this is about using your intuition. And I'm also picking up, beautifully enough, with the um, with the King and Queen of Cups. This is really about a nice balancing energies within yourself. I'm not talking about anybody else. This is all about you, Divine Feminine. This is where the balance is coming into effect. You are feeling more balanced within yourself as well from since 2020 all up until now. You really feel more um, empowered. I'm not picking up on no depression or anything like that. I'm picking up on somebody who's really been sensible right now, really been grounded enough because you now realise that you need to be putting in the work. You now need to be focusing on trying to get your Ace of Pentacles in the right way. All right, so... Um, yeah, root of the powers of earth. So this is seriously about using everything that you've got, especially tapping into your, um, you know, divine power, your intuition, you know, and your logic as well and your maturity to level up. You really have leveled up because you started off with the page of cups in the reverse and then you're ending on the king and the queen of cups. All right. So this is amazing stuff. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, let me just have a look and see what it is that you walked away from and what it is that you're rejecting as well because you're putting in your work, you know, your worth. So for what it is that the Divine Feminine has walked away from, because we've got 8-8 eight, eight as well, right next to each other, 88. Please do check out that. Um, in fact, I did point to, um, I have got a deck there. Uh, just quickly show you guys. That says 88, all right? So those two cards there are 88 as well. Eight of uh, Swords, Eight of Cups as well. And we've got also the Eight of Wands. So we've got Triple Eight. 
So you need to just check out those numbers because that's also about abundance. That's also about a leadership. It could even be your life path as well. Your life path number uh, might be number eight. So that's another thing that is quite significant here with this. And if that's the case, this is where you're getting a lot of strength. Okay, so let's have a look at the Eight of Cups. Spirit, thank you so much, please, for the Divine Feminine. Thank you. So this Mercury retrograde is, is doing my head in already. But I'm trying to be patient and be gentle with myself and going with the flow. All right? It's how it goes, my lovelies. It's how it goes. Is that the card? All right, another card. That ego. All right. So we have got walking away. So, yeah, definitely finding the passion. Okay? Turning your back on stuff and finding something. It's giving me the full card for some strange reason. Kind of reminds me of the full card. And then we have got Queen of Pentacles getting grounded knowing that you need to be working on yourself and your stability. And uh, we have got the nine of wands. So this is about really breaking it away from um, letting your guard down, but in a very grounded and realistic way as well. Okay. And getting over all what you've gone through in the past. And we have got the empress. There you are, the empress. Remember what I said about the abundance card as well. All right. That's the card that I chose last. So this is really, really amazing stuff because, you know, it's all about your business. This is what I'm picking up on. And um, for for who or what is trying to get to you because you're turning them down because you, you know your worth. First up we have got is that I knew this card was going to come up. <laughs> I knew this card was going to come up. The emperor in reverse. You're not into no, nah, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen, all right? It's a big, fat no from you. It's not going to happen. Now, these three cards come out together. I feel that there's a reason why. Let's find out. We've got the strength card because, to be honest, look at this. To be honest, there was a very poor connection. All of these cards are all in reverse. This is what this emperor energy is giving you, the strength card in the reverse the nine of swords in the reverse and the ten of cups in the reverse. You're not going to be take. You're not going to be falling for it again. You know, if you're not, if you're not going to be in in the upright position, how the hell am I going to accept this? If you are not like this, this would have been beautiful. All right, all right. Let's say for the nine of swords, but you could have definitely worked on that because the strength card is there. You could have worked on that shit. But you mean to say that you want to come at me with all these cards in the reverse, okay? And you expect me to accept that. I'm not accepting that. You have to come at me better than that. And I feel that this is what is going on right now with you guys. No, 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 you're not going to have that. No divine feminine that has worked on themselves. You're now stepping into like divine goddess, empress energy. You're not going to settle for anybody that's in no reverse um, emperor, no ten of cups in the reverse, no nine of swords in the reverse and no strength card in the reverse. That is what you're just blocking. And the card underneath the bottom of the deck is the moon card because they've been exposed. Because they were, try they were trying their hardest to hide all that shit. Trying their hardest to hide and lie. But now nah, you're using your intuition and you've got the empress as well. So nobody is going to want to pick up, especially if you are in the upright position and you've also got the queen of pentacles that is there and you've also got the queen of cups that's there as well as with as well as the king of cups all in the right positions it's not going to happen you know you you know your worth all right and that shit ain't worth shit <laughs> all right guys this is what i've got for you i'm going to leave it here it was quite interesting to see um what the progress is with the um collective and i must say i have seen from what i can see me personally speaking, I'm not, and I'm trying to be as honest here as possible. Um, I have seen a, a like a change since I started to do more of the readings. Yeah, it's part of the twin flame journey, but it's more to do with the growth, the soul growth of the of the divine feminine. Because you, divine feminine, are the one that's going to be rising up. It's you. It's not the divine masculine, or you know, like the distorted masculine, because. Um, a masculine that's coming at you in reverse, that is not divine. That is distorted. Still got a lot of issues that's going on there and all unhappy and all this beers. No, you don't need that rubbish. That's too toxic. It's too toxic. It doesn't even make me want to touch the cards. It's too toxic. And with the moon card in the reverse, 
the and you know they'd be trying to cover it shit up. No, it's not happening. You so no 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 no. So you have to be working on yourself. And as I said, I've seen Percy speaking, I have seen the growth, I have seen the positivity, I have seen the growth in you guys. And it is absolutely amazing. It's giving me the chills. I am so happy to see positive change in you guys. You've really done a lot. And I'm so thankful that I made that right decision. I feel, I, I just felt in my soul that it was not right for me to keep on doing those kind of readings. You know, that was keeping you guys on, and, and myself as well on a, on a hamster wheel. And I kept on saying that. And it was like, no, right now, how can I get, how can I shift this? How can I shift this? Because this isn't, this doesn't feel right. Now, occasionally, you know, you guys may want to, um, you know, may want to look at those other readings, which is fine, not a problem. But at least, you know, there's another reader out there or there is a reader out there that is like, this is about you and your soul growth, your mission still. OK, but this is about how you can get that to happen. How can you make that happen? You're not going to be focusing on your soul growth and your soul mission if you're going to be transfixed on watching the divine masculine and or the DM and his karmic and all of those kind of readings. That's just going to be keeping you depressed and upset and probably full of rage. And you're still trying to feel that you're you're trying to get get away from it. And this eight of swords would be not you trying to figure things out in your head for yourself and your business. But it's about you being stuck in your head because you feel trapped that there's nothing that you can do to bring you closer to your divine masculine. Do you understand? So this is why it's like, no, fuck that. We have to get out from that shit. We have to. I'm sorry for swearing, guys. We have to get out from that situation and fast because time is just literally on like, it's as if it's come through now to a, a few grains of sand. And that's all we've got left in the hourglass. We don't have that kind of time. And if you really want to be able to bring about the union within your within you know your your partnership you have to make sure that you have the connection with yourself the union with yourself and build that relationship with yourself first before you can go and look for no man or no woman sorry i've got to be honest and straight it's the libra in me okay and i'm real and i'm and i have to be real you got to fix yourself first and you got to fix yourself fast and whoever ain't going to be coming off you know, especially as a divine feminine that is not going to be coming off with anything and will not accept this. This is unacceptable. You're a goddamn queen. You're a you're a, a, an empress. You're a divine empress who will not, you know, you will not be accepting no emperor in reverse. No way. No way. Okay, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you here. Thank you so much for watching this reading. Thank you again as well for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions to the channel. Do check me out on my Facebook page. Hop over there right now. The, um, the link is in the description box. Um, so, yeah, answer the questions and then you'll be able to be put through. And, yeah, inter integrate with everybody, interact with everybody, socialise. It's just a safer environment for us to be ourselves Everybody is welcome, okay, apart from those who are going to be just be troublemakers and you're coming in with a low, 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 dirty ass vibration. We don't do that. This is a high vibrational group and this is about the soul growth and the encouragement that we need to have for each other to empower each other, all right? This is what I want and I've been manifesting this like there's no, I mean, I'm doing, I'm manifesting it even as I speak to you right now because this is the energy, this is the angle, this is the direction that we need to be going up. We need to be rising up as kings and queens, emperors and empresses. It's time. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll be back with another reading. Peace out.